The U.S. Army Signal Corps Project Diana occurred on January 10th, 1946. This is when the U.S. Army uh, sent a 111.5 MHz radar signal from Camp Evans in Wall Township, New Jersey to the moon and received its echo back on Earth. This occurred at uh, 11.58 a.m. Uh, local time. Now to mark the 70th anniversary of this event, the Ocean Mammoth Amateur Radio Club, Princeton University, and InfoAge uh, recreated the experiment on January 10, 2016 at the same time at 11.58 a.m. Now since the original antenna is long gone and uh, we can't legally transmit on 111.5 megahertz, the recreation was done using the TLM-18 60-foot diameter uh, satellite dish that was put up for the Tyros program in the late 50s, early 60s and operated at 1296 megahertz. Uh, as luck would have it, uh, January 10th fell on a weekend and it also fell on a day when the moon was available most of the day through the morning and through uh, middle of the afternoon. And this gave us the opportunity not only to recreate the experiment at 11.58 a.m., but to also run several amateur Earth, Moon, Earth, or EME contacts uh, throughout the day. This video is just a collection of clips uh, taken throughout the day, both before the commemorative transmission as well as after. So I hope you enjoy. We'll start off with a clip that commemorates the actual transmission at 11.58 a.m. While we're waiting, let me start with an apology. Um, uh, the Omar people, uh, under the orders of the Colonel here, wanted everything ship uh, And when we came in this morning, everything was just immaculate and beautiful. Um, so we couldn't stand that. And we just uh, <laughs> made a mess of everything here. No, uh, we didn't do it deliberately. Inevitably, we needed the tools of the trade, coffee, cups, and burgers. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just send a series of uh, dashes, and uh, if we're lucky, you'll, you'll see them, you'll hear them go out. I'll turn this way out. Uh, and then uh, two and a half seconds later, you'll uh, see them come back, hear them come back. available to us most of the day. So we were able to make EME, or Earth, Moon, Earth, amateur radio contacts in the morning before the commemorative transmission as well as in the afternoon. We made contacts using both CW or Morse code as well as single sideband. We've got a collection of clips here that uh, I'll show just uh, as examples of some of these contacts that we made. I'm going to start off uh, with a clip with my friend Jerry in 2GJ. Uh, making his very first EME contact, and uh, we can tell from his reaction that he was quite excited about that. And we'll follow that up with uh, some additional clips of other operators working both CW and single sideband. <laughs>
The 70th anniversary celebration of Project Diana was a really terrific event. We had well over 60 people in attendance, which included the mayor, uh, city councilman, county sheriff, as well as several other local dignitaries. We had lots of folks from Princeton University, as well as InfoAge, and of course, a lot of fellow amateur radio operators. I was really proud to be part of this for the very small part that I played and really enjoyed uh, spending the day bouncing some signals off the moon. So I'll put another couple of video clips to close out my video here and thanks again of course for watching.